320 hospitalizations due to uh, dog attacks in 2020, which has been a rise in them. But, you know, do you think they need to be on lead? Jal says, I think all dogs should be on leads. I love to go out walking, but I won't go my own now because I'm afraid of dogs. When you ask the owners to put the lead back on, they just say, sure, the dog won't harm you. That's Michelle. And I get that a lot because I was saying, saying yesterday, yeah. like when I go out walking and you, you're just there and the dogs, like the dogs maybe get a bit lost and they get a bit sort of, they don't know where their owners are and they're running to you and they're sort of, they're disorientated, they're, they're nervous, they're anxious. And you just don't know what, what a dog might do to you. So I, I feel that dog should be on leads, yeah. personally. Yeah, well, because we were having this chat mm. about it after the show yesterday as well. We yeah. were. And um, yeah, like I have a Cocker Spaniel and I, whenever we go to the park, now it's an argument myself and my wife have as well. And a lot of people have mixed opinions on this, but I think that she, you know, it's a dog. I love letting her, letting her off the And leash. I was minding a dog and I had the dog on the lead the whole time because I'm not the normal person mm. who walks her. So she was on lead for the week. Absolutely. But being in the park and seeing these dogs out, obviously they had good dog owners who had them trained. The recall was unbelievable. It was and fantastic. And it's down to dog owners. Big time. But I, I, it is exactly. about the recall, Tommy, isn't it? It is the yeah. recall. Because recall. you can get somebody calling their dog and the dog is paying no attention to them right, yeah. and act at somebody or barking or at somebody. Barking yeah. at somebody yeah. or about to jump up on somebody yeah. and be able to have to, that the dog will come back to like them. Like Carly and says here, my dog was attacked by a loose mastiff at a reservoir on Sunday. I was in the car park and I let my dog out of the car, clipped him on the lead. I was with my six-year-old at the time, only for a kind man cycling with his children who came to my aid. My dog would have died. Yeah. If that person is watching, I would really like to extend my thanks. Uh, the vet contacted the owners who refused to accept any responsibility uh -huh. and liability. My dog had to be sedated and received three sets of stitches. I will never walk him on my own again. Connor asks the, asks the question, who enforces these laws and regulations? No one, just like everything else in this country. I mean, that's the big thing because an Alsatian, for instance, or a pit bull or whatever, should that that's should be in a muzzle, muzzle, should be on a two metre lead. Like Eileen and Cove says, I thought all dogs were supposed to be on leads when out in public places. Not necessarily. It's advised to keep your dog on a lead if you are in a public place, but it's not law to have them on the it's lead. It's not law. Some, some areas, some county councils will insist that, like on beaches and stuff, you, your dog would yep. be on a lead, but it's not in law. It's advised. Yeah, and some parks are like that. And Unless you're on the restricted dog, dog breed, breed, where then you have yeah. to be on the lead, and there's mm. 11 of those in Ireland. Um, a message here from Henry, and this is about Victoria, who her dog and she, she, she had a bite taken out of her. Yeah. Uh, they were a victim of a dog attack, and she talked Very to us good. earlier on. I feel for Victoria. My wife refuses to walk our dog on her own as she's terrified of other dogs off their lead. It always amazes me how people say, you're grand, he won't bite you. But how do they yeah. know how my dog will react to their dog? And that's where the issues can be caused. Exactly. Um, Anne has sent a message here saying, German Shepherds should not be on the dangerous dog list. No way, they're the most gentle dogs. And this is the thing, because I didn't know German Shepherds were on that so that they should have a muzzle, muzzle and, yeah. a, and a lead of two metres. So if you went up to the, a dog owner of a German Shepherd and said, that should be on a muzzle, you know, what, what are they going to do? She says, oh, he's a gentle dog. But every German Shepherd I've ever known is muzzled because they know that they have to. It's because of their size more so yeah, than yeah, their demeanour. They are frightening. They it's are because frightening. They're, yeah. they're bigger, yeah. you know? And we're getting texts in that, that people feel that because the dogs are smaller, they're, they should be okay to run around off a lead. That's the way I am. Yeah, because um, I don't put my dog on a lead. And yet Jack and Russells are the ones that are very oh, high yeah. on the attack list. Yeah. Well, they should be... Listen, it's, at you. it's not about the dog, it's about the owner. That's the big thing, really, isn't it? You know... <laughs>